Hey my friends, we are back with another puzzle series. So, another struggle basically. So this one, first moves looks easy, we just grab the F pawn. But then, I don't know what to do. <laughs> just grab the F pawn, but then the G pawn is defended with, no, attack this pawn. But the G pawn is defended with the knight, we cannot take it and mate it. We also cannot mate in the back rank because after taking this, we can say check with the rook, but then uh, takes with the rook, and we take back with the queen, and nothing special happens. Ah, mm. uh -huh, I see something else. I see that after taking this, saying check goes back, I can play rook e3, attack the queen. Once the queen moves, I can grab the, I can grab this pawn. The problem that I see here is that queen doesn't move uh, to a bad place. Instead, it goes to somewhere like d3. So queen goes d3 and defends the g6 pawn backward. So no, I, I suppose this is black queen. I don't have a material to show you exactly. But if this was a black queen, black queen can defend this from here. So, uh, mm, and our bishop isn't in the most pleasant square. That's a big problem. So I think the first move I should do, it doesn't matter. All right, we don't get a check, we don't have any problem. Another thing I see is that I can grab this pawn as well, but attacking the rook, but simply defends the pawn. So this move I should make. Now what? Now I'm thinking um, maybe bishop c2 attacking the g pawn. Maybe the plan that I said earlier, rook e6, attacking the queen. The problem with rook e6 is that queen goes to d3. And that's not what we want, right? So, we can play bishop c2 and I still say we are going to attack your g6 pawn by rook. But then I see another problem because knight of black can come to... Uh, f4 and defend the e6 square and at the same time g6 so we should find a clever way to attack g6 ah if i play c2 bishop c2 knight cannot move because i can mate on g7 right First, black has to defend the g7 square. So, looks not bad, right? I attack that. Still, black cannot do any move. Threatening us. Next move, I want to play rook e3. It's a little bit slow. It's a silent move, bishop c2. Bishop c2. Is a silent move, um, we can't do anything at the moment. But on the other hand, I also don't see black can do anything. This is the problem, right? Black should keep the rook in this line, uh, keep the queen in this line, keep the knight at h5. So, because if black move the queen somewhere, then we simply grab the g6 and then the knight. And if move the knight, we mate. So the only piece black can move, and the only heavy piece black can move is rook. And then we have time to move over rook. So it looks good. Let's play it. Oh, okay. It was correct. Uh, I don't know if we want to go for continuation and see what um, possible continuations after takes, takes. comes. Yeah, as I said, the only piece that black can move is rook. And then we have a time to move the rook and attack the g pawn you may say that at this point uh white 
black can play knight there and attack our rook or defend the f1 but then it's also end of the day because oh no even says that first take and then after moves here take this and finish it yeah so this was a good one this was this had a one silent move and it was a good move so if you say check uh we have two checks right we have a check with the rook we have a check with the pawn check with the pawn in one sense uh, in, in some sense it looks good because pawn at uh, we advanced the pawn but on the other hand it's not very good because uh we don't have a good way to defend the advanced pawns advanced pawn at this point on the other hand i think uh, rook a1 is very good because it expels the king to the back rank there is only one square the king can go and slowly we can no there is only one square right the king can go to h2 and we can play king f2 the idea is that we want to navigate our rook to go there and then mate from here when the king of white is in h2 so or if white doesn't allow us this then what happens if white doesn't allow us this it means that white moves the king away so first of all i shouldn't think i should give this check and then think this check doesn't work right we give a check king goes oh it might work no king goes to g2 i really don't see any continuation i cannot move my king forward so this is definitely not working no no yeah this was the process of elimination now, now i'm thinking about going king f2 Oh, and the plan, as I said, is to navigate the rook around and mate it. And yeah, looks good, right? I can also move the pawn, but then uh, the problem is that king goes to g2. Okay, this time if king goes to g2, I can say check at g1 and expel the king, right? What if... What if it starts to give me check with the rook? Annoying check, I go there. Next check, I go there. And I, or I text my uh, pawn, I go there. Ah, oh, no. Suppose I push the pawn. It starts to give a check with the rook. Check with the rook. I go up. I text my pawn. I go down. So it doesn't look good, right? And if I go to a6, a4 right away, for example, rook a4 or rook uh, to be able to go behind the pawn. Black also, white also has the option to push the pawn, but it also has the option to bring the king back. So really, I believe that king f2 is the best move, but I also don't see a concrete winning plan king f2 if push the pawn i will take the pawn king f2 if uh, he should really really move the king away because we are threatening really mate or no i don't know uh, it's very promising but suppose it, it um, white tries to push the king away goes for example king h3 we play rook a5 white has to play either with rook or with the king in either way we can move our king and push the pawn so let's go in oh no oh no it was this move so we take and uh, what to do with these checks uh-huh no I, I i have no idea i uh, should go there i don't know let me understand we understand together i take says check okay i go there then says check i go there says check i go there what was the problem of with the first check ah, i had to keep myself close to the pawn 
Ah, okay. No, there is no way to give a good check. For example, goes there. We give a check. Expel the king. And push the pawn. Right. Yeah, it was nice. It was nice. And it, in this end games, we should study, and it's very important to improve in end games. So this is is this so easy that I see I grab this knight if takes with the pawn I take the bishop and then takes my knight I take back okay okay I see a problem here okay normally uh, I could have taken this if takes my bishop I take back with the knight but the problem is that I take this simply captures my captures the knight with the pawn and then if i capture the bishop captures my knight oh okay at the end i will win a rook right i mean i capture this and i win this i think that's working plan let's do it let's do it let's do it yeah it is it was working right uh, we should have been careful to not quickly grab the rook, right? Because, uh, let me show you, uh, I'm saying this. At this point, if we were um, capturing the rook, then it was um, really not good. You know, we wouldn't get anything out of it. So, we had to first capture the pawn with the pawn, attack the bishop. No bishop and rook are under attack. If moves the bishop, then we capture the rook. So here, knight and queen pairing together to mate, all right? Is there any other option except mating? Mm, Dop that. So, how to achieve mate? Uh, one thing, I, okay, first mm, we should look for checks, right? Check from here, for example, or check with the knight from here. First, let's see what happens queen checks from e1. Queen checks from e1 if um, white goes towards the uh, black's territory, for example, to f4, where black has king, pawns, and so on. Then queen takes f2 and it's a mate, right? Knight covers g4, king covers fifth rank, and queen covers everything else. And pawn covers the e4 and queen covers the everything else. So the only option for black and for white to survive in this situation is go is to go to is to go to d3, and d3 is also end of a day because we can check with the knight. No, no, we can't check with the knight. I, I, I thought that we can check with the knight here but our knight doesn't have such a long legs unfortunate another direction i see that uh, so this check was um, considered d3 i don't see any continuation after d3 because yeah i can say check from here but then bishop can uh, then king can go back simply let's say king goes back Bishop, if bishop comes out, I can capture the rook, and then what? We are equal. Nothing. Yeah. So, um, basically, this doesn't seem to be a good direction. Another thing I see is that I can give a check from here as well. And then king goes down. I give a check. Uh, okay, it seems that king escapes. King can slowly sneak to c2. King goes down and then goes to... Uh, first goes to d2, then c2, and then escapes. Feels like that. c2, d2. Uh, d2, c2, b3, and escapes. It doesn't look like a promising direction. What was the problem with knight check? Knight gives a check. And king goes to f3, right? There is no good option except f3, or is there? Because if it goes to, no, there are only two possible, two, three possible 
scores like f3 and f4 and d2 for the king after this check okay i want to say that d2 is bad i'm not sure if i'm right and the reason i feel is bad because i can take the f pawn with check the king uh, goes down or up doesn't matter uh, if it goes down we give a next check with the queen okay okay it's getting complicated it shouldn't be too much complicated i don't think knight move is a good option let's reconsider this move check from here the easiest check that we saw from the start check him from here goes to d3 and then it's a mate yeah it's a mate right i say check from here goes to d2 then check with the knight and then it's a mate so check from here goes to yeah yeah this is end of a day right this is a check this is a check this is a mate it was oh what what oh man that's why i did that a check and the mate ah oh, come on what a bad mistake sometimes i make really really stupid mistakes so we can push the pawn before white right so let's just push it yeah and white cannot do much now we should take it now we should take it take the queen because white has two pawns and if we can play with the queen then wins or at least the rose we take the queen takes with the pawn we push push we push push we push push and we go to back rank and yeah we win uh, i don't think we can catch with the king right it doesn't make sense to go yeah and this was easy peasy oh daily solver we solved three puzzles and that was that was for today's puzzle session ah we missed some of them we gained some point uh, we are getting close to 3300 let's see what was the rating of puzzles okay they were not high rated 2700 2900 not much yeah no, this this one we did a terrible mistake right i mean it was a easy easy point for us but i did a i did a mistake and I quickly say check with the queen and forget that the thing I said earlier, king can escape from c2. Okay. Team puzzle solvers. We are okay today. We are not reaching my, our highest yet, but still it's a decent rating. 3,2800. Let's see what happens in the next sessions.